Hey guys, today we are going to check out a new tool that will change the way we visualize our projects in SketchUp. Hey guys, welcome to Show It Better, the best place to learn architectural representation. And today I'm really excited because last week I got my hands on a tool that is a game changer for SketchUp, really. It is called Enscape 3D and it is a real-time rendering plugin for SketchUp. Let's take a look at what it can do. So I downloaded the free trial version of Enscape that you guys can find in their page and I downloaded a model from SketchUp and started playing around with Enscape. Well, I work on two screens, but for this tutorial, I put both SketchUp and Enscape in the same window to see how it performed. And at a first glance, I mean, we can already be really amazed. Enscape lets you move in SketchUp in coordination with our plugin. So if you zoom in in the SketchUp view, it gets zoomed in in the Enscape view. You can also deactivate this so they can move uh, you know, separately, but right now this tool is really awesome, right? And you could also see that any changes you make to SketchUp instantly get updated in Enscape. If you move a chair in SketchUp, it gets moved in the real-time render, right? So this is it's crazy. So that's like the first glance, right? And when we open the Enscape settings, we can see a series of options for the customization of the viewport. So the first one I was like really, really amazed and I that I really want to use because, you know, I'm just, I think it can help you do diagrams, it can help you do a lot of stuff that is just not only renders but everything for your presentation board to present to client etc was white mode and polystyrol mode so white mode makes everything everything exactly everything in the model white except for anything that has glass or water so i was just amazed because i didn't really tell the program hey you know uh override the glass and override the water i mean i i really just opened it and it looked like that. So then I was told by, by the guys from Enscape that if the material has uh, the name water, the name glass, it, Enscape recognizes it and you know makes it optimal for each kind of view, if that makes sense. So that white mode and polystyrol mode, I was just really amazed. And I mean, if you want, you can put outlines to it. Outlines to the white mode, the polystyrol mode, or the normal mode. So it would look like more of a sketchy drawing, you know, has a mixed feeling and there's also light view which is where you can see um, where there's more amount of light measured in like real LUTs so that is really cool and only well, that can help you you know make you makes a lot of sun studies and uh, there's depth of field in a really precise depth of field where that where you have the option to put you know the your focal point at five centimeters inches, whatever, you know? Okay, so it had, it had exposure, brightness, field of view, really awesome. Motion blur, so if you move uh, very quickly through the model, it's gonna be motion blurred. So it makes it look like more real and, um, you know, improving the, the, the rendering quality. Some other options you see are, you know, contrast, sharpening, saturation, color temperature, and bloom, which really makes it, you know, get the right tone and the right feeling and the right uh, emotion for the image right away. You don't even have to go to Photoshop. In atmosphere, you can change the clouds. I mean, you can change the amount of clouds if you wanted very dense clouds or if you don't want clouds at all. Then we can also see that we can we can add clouds, add the density of the clouds, variety of, cl variety of the clouds, the thickness, their surface amount longitude latitude how bright the sun is i mean this really has everything you can wish for in a real-time rendering machine from 2017 i mean really it is really high level and the images they produce are really really good I mean, the good thing is that you know you can manage you can modify the visualization settings so you can have denser clouds, a very foggy day, or a very sunny and clear day. You can also change the time of the day, and I don't know, make time lapses and everything. So, so another of the advantages of this program is that it can export. You can make 360 images with this program. So, and it's and it's really just easy, like really easy. Like, and you just click panorama, and it has two options. So you can render it. You know, for, you, you you can take out a panorama, like a normal panorama, which you can up upload on Facebook or any panoramic. 3D site or software, or you can also export it to make it available in VR mode, in virtual reality. And that's the, the, another of the awesome, awesome things that this has. Like you guys can just really export your model and no one needs this program to see it in their computer. And if they have the, the Oculus Rift, the headsets for the virtual reality, you just open the program 
and you know you can navigate all around it I, I don't have virtual reality glasses the virtual reality headset um, yet but when I do I'm gonna show you guys I mean I've just seen videos and it looks really awesome. You can export, you know, like the whole file, the whole set file. And if you send it to somebody or if you're, you know, in your student presentation, you don't have to have the program installed. You can just, you know, open it right there and then and navigate through all of your project. I did this and I think you guys, and you guys are watching it right now. And you know, I had everything closed and it navigated like very, very well. And I've heard, I've heard that the, there is an Enscape for Revit and an Enscape for SketchUp. So if you are a Revit or a SketchUp user, you can, you know, and they have like the same features, features I think. I think the Revit one is more advanced because it, ha it has been more time on the, on the market. But this one is also has the majority of features. And you can also load H HDRI images. So, um, so for example, if, uh, if you don't like the skies that are in Enscape, you can load HDRIs. It can give you a visualization, you know, of how it looks and you can change the rotation, everything, everything, everything. And there's also this awesome tool that I really enjoy, which is the section tool. Just as you guys use the section tool in SketchUp, you can see it in Enscape live and instantly. So you just have to press the section tool and if you move it, if you rotate it, whatever, it gets instantly updated in Enscape. And it just looks really, really good. I mean, the possibilities are endless. I mean, seriously, it's a really, really nice feature. Another cool feature is um, the face me component. So just like the section tool, it is a tool that we as SketchUp users use a lot. So um, being able to have these 2D objects, uh, you know, being recognized in this 3D rendering program is really nice, you know. So as you guys can see, you have the 2D trees or the 2D people and you can use this for animation. The final tool that I'm just really amazed with is the materials and it's especially the grass material. And it's just a freshly cut grass and the only thing you have to do is type in grass in your material description and this works with any material I mean if you type in grass in your wall your wall is going to look like grass so that's really really awesome and a really cool tool um, and all the materials in Enscape work really cool you just have to type in the material description and it will look nice as you guys can see here the grass is a very nice grass it's just a freshly cut grass and it has a very nice color so that is really, really cool. I really enjoy Enscape.